Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodichon here. So today I'm going to teach you how to write the names of covalent compounds. So first up, is it covalent? Do you have all non-metals bonding together? If you do, it is and we can move forward. So let's look at our steps for naming. It's super easy, you guys. The first step, you're going to write the names of the elements from the formula that you're given. Number two, you are going to change the ending of the second element to ide or the ide ending. And then three, you're going to write the correct prefixes, the Greek prefixes of each element. Now there's one exception to the rule and that is do not write mono on the first element only. So we can write mono on the second, just not the first element. Okay. So you're going to need to know your prefixes. I get, I went ahead and put all of your Greek prefixes here so you can pause the video. You can write them down. Make sure you have these memorized. You guys, let's go ahead and try a practice problem. So we have N2O3. So our first step says write the names of the elements. So nitrogen and oxygen. Step two, we're changing that second element to ide or the IDE ending. As you can see, we changed it to oxide instead of oxygen. And then step three, we're going to write our correct prefixes for each element. So we have two nitrogen and two is going to be di. So we put di in front of the nitrogen. And then we have three oxygen and three is tri. So we're going to write the tri in front of the oxide now. So it reads dinitrogen trioxide. And that is your final answer for that one. Let's try one more with the exception to our rule so you can see it. So NO, go ahead and write your, your element name. So nitrogen and oxygen again, right? And then you're going to go ahead and change the ending to ide or IDE. So again, oxide. But now we're gonna go ahead and change our prefixes and put those in front of the word. Now the first one, it has an understood one. Now one is mono, and that is the exception to our rule, okay? So if you have one on the first element, you're not gonna write mono, it's just implied that we have one. So go ahead and leave that off, and you're just gonna leave it the original name of the element, so just nitrogen for this example. And then we have one, for oxygen as well. So it is going to be mono. And because it's the second element, we are going to write the mono on that one. So it ends up being monoxide. Okay. Notice we didn't write the double O. We just left one O there. So it's just nitrogen monoxide. I hope this was helpful, you guys. Thanks, everybody. See y'all later.